Alright, so Shalom and Assalamu Ta again. You want us well there, Manuel Rastafari Renaissance.com. And really wanted to come to you again, uh, especially in this vid. You know, we'll still have a bunch of other vids, just uh, a little bit of editing to uh, bring forward so we can post it here on the channel. But uh, I appreciate uh, all of uh, all of, all of the ones who check out this uh, channel here. I appreciate your patience, really. It's, uh, you know, it, it can't be, you know, accounted for and the support that I continue to get not only from the blog but here on the uh, YouTube channel as well. And I uh, have to send, uh, you know, shout out to uh, the brothers, of course, there, the Habarim. Uh, they are the DSR on the dashboard. Uh, up for I and I's, of course, um, absence there from this uh, pastoral portion of Toldot. To build them, you hit no. Um, or as, as number six, you know, generations. Uh, and speaking uh, mostly in the context of the brothers, the twins, Jacob and Asa. Uh, uh, so, um... You know, we'll definitely revisit uh, much more of the topics from this past tour portion uh, coming up here in this uh, Shibuya this summit or this uh, week, as ones would know it. But uh, just speaking uh, uh, here on uh, current events, a little current news, just to keep ones, uh, you know, abreast and up to date on a lot of the current events going on out here in the world, as we, of course, Spoke on this, uh, especially in uh, Discipleship Radio some time ago, you know, about uh, six to eight or so months ago, especially sp speaking on um, the European Union and, you know, a lot of things uh, seem to be crumbling at the seams, you know, the Brexit, you know, and the pending referendums to come to uh, this point and speaking specifically on this day here, December 5th, as December 4th marked the Italian a referendum, but uh, not so much, um, I guess you can say, in similar fashion as the Brexit, because mostly looking into the things that were uh, spoken on and uh, in much debate, and of course what you'll find out there uh, in the news outlets and um, other analysis and reports about this Italian referendum is mostly dealing with uh, in house, it's mostly uh, internal, internal. Uh, um, you know, I guess you can say subjects or matters or uh, politics, uh, you know, so on and so forth about uh, you know particular matters within the country of Italy, and this one pertaining particularly to uh, the referendum here on the constitution. Uh, there for the Italian Republic, and uh, we have to remember again, you know, especially for ones who. Uh, of course, uh, follow this channel that uh, Vatican City is independent of the Italian Republic. So when we speak about places like Rome, the Vatican, so on and so forth, uh, that nature, that uh, uh, structure of the Roman Catholic Church, it's independent and aside, you know, a, a totally different uh, <laughs> entity aside from the Italian Republic or the rest of the country of Italy. So be sure to do some research on that just to, you know, keep yourselves on point with that as well. I mean, it, it, Rome, of course, still exists uh, physically uh, within the country of Italy, but as an entity, as a structure, as a government, as a, uh, a religious organization, as its own uh, nation state, Vatican City is its own country in and of itself. So... Just to keep that out on the forefront for us to understand on that point and not be confused about the things going on in the Italian Republic, you know, the country of Italy, you know, ones will definitely have a frame of reference on that. But uh, just uh, keeping to the theme here and uh, the topic at hand, uh, Prime Minister Renzi, you know, uh, uh, even though I mentioned on the outset here that this Italian referendum doesn't... Um, more so hold up to be identical to the Brexit. There are certain facets within, you know, certain um, details that leave a lot of ones to, I guess you can say, you know, speculate on that. And even so with this uh, Prime Minister, uh, Matteo Renzi, uh, even after the vote uh, comes to uh, reject, you know, the referendum, 
shows that uh, Prime Minister Renzi will at least uh, uh, attempt to resign, you know, in similar fashion as David Cameron did, Prime Minister David Cameron of uh, Great Britain, you know, uh, so many months or so ago from the uh, Brexit a referendum. And uh, we spoke on these things, as I mentioned before, on Discipleship Radio. So if one's having me keeping up with that, you know, I would, you know, just keep an eye out, uh, really, and uh, really, you know, um, focus a little bit of time into researching a lot of a lot of these facts from time to time, just, you know, stay up to date, you know, on certain uh, current events, current news, politics, you know, and uh, things going on in the world as of now. And, of course, leaning forward, you know, and Italy itself has been, you know, a country of, you know, particular interests and uh, a lot of, you know, strange, <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say strange, you know, from this point of view at this, at this point in time, you know, kind of uh, hindsight and looking into things from so many or so years ago or just a few uh, uh, and years that have uh, come up to this point here in 2016, leading into 2017. But, uh, I mean, even so, looking to the immigration uh, a crisis that has been going on, uh, certain ones there from uh, uh, Africa and uh, 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 other parts of the Mediterranean uh, trying to reach Italy. And, um, you know, even with the fallout of Libya still, and ones, of course, are fleeing uh, persecution, fleeing uh, the uh, economic turmoil there in Libya. And uh, even so, uh, before th before that time, you had the uh, Arab Spring. So, I mean, just that whole uh, geographical area of the Mediterranean is just, you know, in, in, in its own uh, crash course, you know, so to speak. And we uh, had hoped to really... You know, I uh, warn our uh, ones of this type of, um, I guess you can say, fallout or economic fallout at this point. I mean, it, it, it's just uh, the signs of the times, as we can say. But uh, just following a lot of the politics, following a lot of the policy and uh, many of these referendums, of course, throughout Europe and also other parts of the world as well to come you know, uh, quote unquote, down the pipeline in 2017, it's just um, purely just showing a matter of time before most of these uh, topics continue to stay, not only in the news, but on one's uh, mindsets, you know, from time to time moving forward. So, and um, again, but, uh, you know, uh, staying on topic here with uh, Italy being the forefront of this post, um, you know, <laughs> really just <laughs> trying to find the words to really explain uh, uh, most of the uh, happenings going on there in Italy, as we mentioned, you know, in a very similar fashion as the Brexit, but, you know, having its own nuances and details, it just um, really shows the point in which the European Union is at at this point. We even mentioned uh, on Discipleship Radio that many of the uh, European countries or the members of the European Union, the EU there, have um, sought to bring about uh, uh, such or uh, uh, more even sanctions there on Russia, you know, pertaining to the situation there in Syria and, uh, you know, even looking uh, toward China in uh, such a manner that uh, seems to be uh, very similar as well. So it, it really has been you know, an interesting uh, past couple of weeks, past couple of sevens to really even pay attention to and find out, you know, the atmosphere politically on an international level. But uh, Italy standing at a very critical uh, moment. We even uh, are even thinking of points in which, you know, there is a, a, a government official, you know, a, um, you know, a sister, a, a black woman who's actually one in uh, very um, high standing there within the Italian government and we're almost sure we have to do a little more research on her because she hasn't really been uh, uh, much in the news lately but of course there were you know some rumors of uh, certain uh, derogatory terms being thrown at her for you know accepting the position or you know being uh, not fit to 
stand in such a position or, or something of that nature. So we'll really have to do a little more research on that again because that was more of a, you know, kind of a flash that came across Ionite desk at a certain point in time. And, uh, you know, again, just, just mentioning uh, so, so much uh, really has gone on in uh, the country and uh, the, the Italian Republic at this point. And, you know, it just seems to be boiling over. At the <laughs> at this uh, issue and uh, uh, state of the moment, so just to uh, I put that out, you know, really for once to really pay attention to, and um, you know, keep your eyes on because we had mentioned this even from the time of the Brexit uh, vote and the referendum there in Great Britain, that a lot of things are you know just uh, continuing to come down the pipeline. Even speaking so here out in the world, uh, as um, ones would know. Um, I really try to keep a low profile a lot of times when uh, just walking out here on my day to day. And uh, as uh, other ones would know, you know, you have a uh, your certain uh, quote unquote nine to five or your job or your occupation or whatever you do to uh, make a living out here in this world. You know, uh, I for one, you know, I tend to uh, really try to keep a low profile, so to speak, or really try to, you know, just uh, hold my own peace and uh, really stay out of a lot of. Uh, political arguments or political, uh, um, you know, discussions, a lot of economic discussions, because I have my own views. I won't be swayed unless something actually is uh, uh, beneficial to uh, uh, gain me a, a certain level of knowledge or a certain level of perspective on certain uh, topics or subjects. So I really tend to uh, not shy away from too many uh, a quote unquote, I guess you could say debates. Uh, I wouldn't say too much of a debate, but it's more so a uh, conversation, even if it's uh, heated at certain moments. But um, I, I found myself in a conversation amongst uh, a few ones, uh, even a young sister speaking on, you know, really getting her financial uh, life in order. Uh, she has a, a young son of about eight or nine years old. She's really. I'm working in a certain industry that uh, is very opportunistic in bringing forward uh, a certain places where she can advance and, uh, of course, uh, open a lot of doors in which probably wouldn't be opened for her son uh, in uh, other facets. And uh, she really started to look into certain things uh, financially, you know, really starting to, um, you know, up her financial education. And uh, she was even speaking on one end of, you know, <laughs> I think I heard her say something to the effect of, you know, I, I'm really trying to get to a point to where, you know, I, I can advance my portfolio to where I have uh, multiple uh, currencies and, and certain things uh, of an international effect in my portfolio. So I really tried to hold my peace at that point, but for some reason, it, I just found myself being spoken directly to, and uh, you know, just uh, uh, not being able to hold my tongue as I, I have in the past, or I have done at certain times here in the present. You know, I really had to pull this, um, this young sister aside and just tell her, I'm like, look, it's not so much uh, looking toward the places in which you're looking to really get uh, to the point that you're trying to reach. Because mostly what I heard her speaking on was, you know, I, I have to uh, look to Europe to really find uh, uh, a solace in uh, really building up my, not only my financial education, but uh, building up my uh, portfolio, things of that nature, my you know, and looking into stocks and bonds and currencies and, uh, you know, even a trade as far as, um, you know, uh, logistics and uh, import and export and uh, other facets of uh, business and commerce and uh, precious metals, you know, gold, silver, so on and so forth, plutonium, platinum, you know, just really you know, gaining a, a well-rounded education in certain facts to really um, put yourself in a position that would be beneficial moving forward 
uh, in, in the few uh, short span of years coming forward to us. But uh, I really had to let that sister know, just uh, I'll be very, very, very careful in this time because the places in which you are looking in are in decline. As uh, one point, she even mentioned about, uh, you know, really upping her portfolio with uh, British pounds and, uh, of course, uh, euros, you know, so on. Uh, you know, just uh, things of that nature looking toward the, uh, the uh, governments and the currencies and the uh, economic systems of Europe in which, you know, I, I, I couldn't hold my tongue at that point knowing that this sister was not only being... Um, put in a position where she could educate herself not only for the, the benefit of herself but her son who's uh, very young at this point and is really going to need those type of uh, avenues and those type of um, points in which he could reach to especially coming up in the near future with uh, the tides turning in which they are I at, for some reason just couldn't hold my tongue at this point <laughs> so I had to tell her like Sister, no, I just really, let's really don't uh, look to that <laughs> for that to be uh, a safe haven for you. Yeah, the European Union at this point is a house of cards in itself. Uh, you know, I have to pick up my brother again, uh, Wyndham Yana, for <laughs> just uh, noticing that uh, point and that uh, analogy which I put forward because it, it really just fits. It, it fits in. in in so many ways, the shoe just uh, fits the situation as of now, whereas the EU is really just uh, a huff and a puff away, you know, from uh, complete dismantlement. Here we have uh, just from, you know, uh, I say approximately uh, six to eight months ago, here we had the uh, Great British uh, exit, uh, or the Brexit, as ones are coining it, uh, and uh, the uh, British referendum. And which even from that point, that day, which we found out that uh, Britain had actually voted to leave the European Union, but which is still pending uh, via the parliament there in uh, Great Britain. We have Italy at this point, the Italian Republic, voting in a uh, Italian referendum on changes or admittances to their constitution, in which, of course, will also and more than likely lead to an Italian exit out of the European Union. And uh, just remembering these themes uh, just from such a time there from the uh, beginning talks of the uh, British exit or the Brexit, you know, Scotland, of course, were in talks of this, and uh, Ireland, uh, of course, as well, France and Spain, you know, Portugal, other countries, of course, in the uh, 27 to 28 or 29 a member state, uh, part of the European Union. So, I mean, uh, anyone really looking to Europe at this point, you know, to really find themselves at a point of building up their portfolio, it, it really is a waste of time, you know, for that matter. I, I, I hate to be so frank and and uh, to the point and uh, so brutally honest, but if I wasn't, then I wouldn't be doing you a service, I'd uh, be doing you a disservice at this point for anyone listening to me at this point, because it just really is um, that time there in Europe, it, it really is that time where things are, you know, again, uh, unraveling at the seams and uh, unable, and many governments are unable to really find a place in which they can uh, rehash, you know, or rebuild, resettle or uh, reorganize anything uh, from the governmental uh, setting to the uh, populist setting at this point. You know, so from inside out, it's, it's really, you know, crumbling at the seams uh, there in Europe. So, uh, I mean, many, many things and uh, many uh, um, avenues of economics will survive. Of course, there will uh, be some thriving at uh, many small and other you know, remote places there in certain parts of Europe, but it won't crash all at once. You know, it definitely will be a um, a slow fold, uh, you know, so to speak, quote-unquote. And uh, keeping that in mind, uh, hopefully ones will be aware and really uh, open their eyes to uh, other opportunities as well 
but uh, just to put this out there and leave this for once to check out, we'll have uh, many links here in the description box for once to check out uh, there and visit and see other analysis and articles that have been put forward. But, you know, this is just a little uh, first word or so to speak on the uh, Italian referendum and you know, definitely following up uh, not only from our U.S presidential election from 2016 but also the uh, british exit or the brexit there from great britain and uh, of course uh, many more um, interesting subjects to look forward to in this point for the rest of this uh, coming gregorian year and uh, much to look forward to in 2017 so uh, we'll sign out here on this point this is uh, Lichifte, Yifte, uh, Johannes Wilde, Rastafari Renaissance dot com.